Today all hymns are from the Missalette. Our first hymn 
Please sing with me number 142, Hymn of Joy. Please all rise. We'll sing verses 1 and 3. to celebrate the sacred mysteries. For Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us one day to everlasting life. Amen. Today's mass intentions are for Edward and Maria Kozlowski, Monica Casta, and second death anniversary of Tilia Lopez, Antonio Lopez, Catalina Maldonado, Elena de Guzman, Thanksgiving, Maria Pin, Dominic Ton, Dominic Pin, Dominic Trin, Nicola <laughs> Ken. Let us pray. O God, author of freedom and salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those who have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever and heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in the scene, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that they read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when he had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. 
These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought the fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Yes, God. Psalm. Yes. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice before him with trembling. Rejoice. You are my son this day, my this very difficult moment of transition and loss 
Jesus invites his disciples to keep trusting in God and in himself. So Jesus wants them to trust in him and in God because the pain of loss they will experience when Jesus is taken from them will not have the last word. Indeed, the disciples will experience a new relationship with Jesus beyond his crucifixion and death. That is why Jesus is saying to them in the gospel today that he will come back again, that he shall return to take them with him. So the gospel is saying that God will bring something new and wonderful out of the pain of loss that they are about to suffer. So in the midst of that pain and this uh, difficult experience of loss that the disciples are going to experience, God in the person of Jesus will bring something new and worthwhile for them. So when we find ourselves in those difficult moments or situations as well, when we experience loss, we too are invited to trust in Jesus and in God. Because at the end, what we hear today in this gospel is that God will always work to bring new life out of the pain related to those uh, losses we suffer. And that is why we can trust God at such difficult moments of our lives. Because even though it's a moment of loss, God will bring something new and worthwhile. So let us continue that Jesus will always help us to trust in Him. At the end, this is the point of the gospel that we hear this morning. We can still trust in Jesus and in God because God is always bringing something new and worthwhile into our lives. Please rise and let us present our needs and intentions to the Father. For the Church and her work in preaching the Gospel, may God continue to guide, to guide his, this holy mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold elected office, may God, may God give them a spirit of civility and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggle from persecution of any kind, may God protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us gathered here this morning, may God strengthen in us a heart of servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have recently died, may God give them eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember in a special way those listening to today's Mass Intentions, Maria Pin, Dominic Ton, Dominic Bean, Dominic Trin, Nicola K, Edward and Maria Koslowski, Monica Casta Ann, second death anniversary, Otilia, Antonio and Catalina Maldonado, and Elena de Guzman in Thanksgiving, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we hear the gospel this morning, we pray that we never lose that sense of trust in God as Jesus is inviting all of us in the gospel this morning, that we may continue to trust in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving God, your Son showed us the way to you. We bring these prayers before you, mindful of your enduring love for us. Hear and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. My dear Lord, accept sacrifice of His Son for the praise and glory of His name, for our glory and the food of God. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family gathered here this morning, and under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to so acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you the more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim Jesus the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your people. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have sung before you this morning. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into evil, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, who say to your friends, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and graciously grant each one of them peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Let of God to take away the sins of the world and the mercy of the house. Let of God to take away the sins of the world and the mercy of the house. Let of God to take away the sins of the world and the mercy of the house. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. sing with me hymn number 239 on his angelicus jesus our living bread
Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice now and one day in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the loving God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please sing with me hymn number 141. 